Hey, I'm going to give you an example of what you're going to learn in just a second. But um, this is taking like a chord sheet um, for a song and then learning how to play it in different styles. So I'm going to play through four different styles and then I'll get into teaching it right afterwards. So you'll be able to do stuff like this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Okay, um, second style. Um, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Next one. Alright, here's the next one. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Cool. Um, okay, so one, playing from a chord sheet. Here's what's going on. So, uh, like when I'm playing in D, most times I'll, I'll either just kind of like play the the D root note, or I'll, I'll do different stuff. So for the first one, I'm just going to do the, the root note. So when it says D, amazing grace. When I go to sweet over sweet, my left hand is just going to play a G note. Sweet, the back to D on sound. Um, then the only other note in there is the A chord. I'm just going to play an A note in my left hand. Okay, so that's what the left hand is doing. The right hand is going to go this kind of and two and one and two and one and two and I have the sustain pedal down and um, another thing to note if this is too far of a stretch for you what you can do is you can play the, the root note play the middle note that A note and then when you're coming up to that high D uh, you can shift on it all right so starting on D may sing grace to G how sweet D sound the same, a wretch to A like me. D once was lost. G now D found was blind. A now D see. Good. Um. So this, that kind of piano part. This is reminiscent of, um, I, I was just learning a, a song by Hunter Hayes the other day. Um, I think it's called Wanted. And anyway, he was using something kind of similar like that. And one thing I like to stress to my students is not just to learn some kind of cool piano riff, but to be able to take those things that you learn on a certain song and be able to play in that style with, with another song. Um, so this is like taking some ideas from kind of like a Hunter Hayes song and a cool piano part and just putting it in with a different song. Work in different keys as well, for sure. So, like, if I was in the key of C, I'd be going C, G, C. So, it's kind of like the fifth note there in the C scale. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to the root note, up just higher. C, G, C, G, A minor, G to F. Cool. So, the next one we're going to take a look at um, is... Uh, a clocks pattern. So this is, um, Cole played a song called Clocks, and um, I'm seeing this this kind of sound repeated in a lot of different songs. So it's kind of like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So what I'm doing with my chords is I'm doing a one, three, and five. All right, we'll do just one three and five right there and I'm going one two three one two three one two and starting over one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two good to make this easy my D I'll just like do like that my G one three and five one two three one two three one two D again um, then the last one is the A one two three one two three one two just those three good uh, probably the best form would do pinky, middle finger, and thumb. I'm um, just doing it like that so you can get kind of get a better view of what's happening. Good. So starting off on D. Now both hands are going to be doing the exact same notes. Left hand's going to be doing the same thing the right hand's doing, which can be kind of hard. 
You could do it just with one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Moving to a G. But for right now, I'm gonna do both hands doing the exact same note. Starting off on D. Amazing grace to G. Sweet D sound that same. Technical difficulties with the, the sheet there. All right, coming from save. That say a wretch, a me. D once was lost. G now D found was blind. To A now D C. Okay, and then with this, you can go. Right there, I was going in the same direction. You can go in the opposite directions as well. Sounds great. So I'm starting on both pinkies, both middle fingers, both thumbs. That also sounds good. Good. Next one, uh, we're going to do a left hand pattern for this one. Okay. So what's happening with that is like for a D chord. So I, I play... I play D, A, then up to D, then rotating. So this one, it, it's long stretches. So what I do is after I play that D note, I play this note, and then I rotate on it, then back to that A note, up to that E note, up to the F sharp note, back to A. Um, so for, then for the A chord. the G chord. Cool. Um, right hand, I'm just going to keep simple. Um, I'll play any of these five notes. D, E, F sharp, G, A. And I'll just kind of play one note and I'll keep it real simple. Kind of stuff like that. Okay, so starting on D. Um, a. I should put this sheet back up. Again, one more time, so starting from the D, let's hope it doesn't fall. Amazing grace, how sweet the D sound that saved a wretch to aid me. I once was lost, but now. So sometimes I didn't have enough time to get through the, the whole kind of thing. That particular sound works well for, for a really nice kind of slow song. Doesn't work so well for a really fast song, but um, kind of a nice sound to it. Kind of cool. All right, next one we're going to do uh, sixths. So six give you a kind of a, a sad sound. Kind of a, a good sound, but just kind of sounds kind of sad. Uh, cool. So anyway, um, this would be a fifth right there. That'd be a fifth. There's a, a sixth right there. So that's my first sixth. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. There we go. And then we're... So those are the, the six we can use. Um, good. So anyway, uh, I'll just start off on... And then sometimes I, I bring in fifths right there. Sometimes I bring in thirds. But I'm kind of focusing in on the, the kind of sixth sound there. Okay, so starting off on D, and I'll just do one finger in the left hand. So starting off on D. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I D once was lost. But now I'm found. Was 
was blind to A. Now back to D. C. Good. So you can just kind of experiment and mess around with it on the different six and see which ones kind of sound good when you're playing along with it. So those are just some ideas on kind of um, taking your, your music to the next level. Mainly, the main idea I want to get across is like when you learn a cool song on the piano, you like learn a certain way to play some song that you want to learn, like clocks or um, really anything. You know, after you learn the song, it's great to learn it, learn exactly how it's done, but then learn how to like put it in and make it flow in a different kind of song. Get a chord sheet and then try to make that same idea work in a different chord sheet. Or if you're writing songs, a lot of times. I'll, I'll take different ideas and maybe try to put a feel like clocks or a feel like a, whatever. You know, it's kind of like something that I've learned before. And then from there, I can get a brand new sound. So it doesn't sound exactly like the last song, um, but it just kind of has a feel reminiscent of a certain song. Cool? All right. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you. Hope it helps.